The menu bar is a powerful tool that allows you to access the many features of the Minerva system. To access the menu bar, press the menu button on the remote. To navigate among the various options, use the right or left arrow keys on the remote. Let's take a look at all of the options and then we'll go into detail on some. My library contains a listing of any reminders that you have scheduled as well as your caller ID history. The settings button lets you adjust parental controls in the output settings of your set-top box. Favorites allows you to create a custom guide of channels. With the search function you can perform a search of programs listed in the guide. The PPV button lets you purchase a pay-per-view event. The Widgets Engine provides real-time news, weather, and sports info. Guide brings up the program guide. And finally, PVR allows you to manage recorded programs if you subscribe to PVR service. Let's take a look at My Library by pressing the OK button on the remote. To navigate the various options in My Library, use the arrow up and down keys on the remote. The video option is reserved for future use. If you arrow down to PPV events, this will show any upcoming pay-per-view events that you may have purchased. The Reminders button shows any scheduled reminders that you have set. To cancel an upcoming reminder, press the right arrow button on the remote and navigate up or down to select the reminder you wish to delete. To delete, press OK on the remote and choose Cancel Reminder. The reminder will now disappear. Let's arrow back, and then arrow down to Messages. This section will display messages that are from F&B. We'll post important information on program changes, maintenance outages, or special events. To view the entire message, just press the right arrow button, and then use the up or down arrow to highlight each message. The full text will appear in the upper right-hand side of the screen. The last option in my library is Caller ID. To go back, we'll use the left arrow button and then arrow down to Caller ID. This section displays your 25 most recent calls if you subscribe to Caller ID through FMB. To review the calls, use the right arrow button on the remote and then arrow up or down. To exit my library, press Exit on the remote. Let's press the menu button again to return to the menu bar. Now we'll take a look at Search. The search function allows you to look for an upcoming program based on program title, actors or actresses, or directors. To enter the search menu, navigate to search using the arrow keys on the remote and press OK. To enter a search term, press OK on Enter Text. An input box will appear that will allow you to spell a search term. Let's look to see if there are any NASCAR events coming up. So using the arrow keys on the remote, we'll spell NASCAR. To select a letter, just press OK. Now that the word NASCAR is entered, I'll arrow down to done and press OK. Next, press the arrow down key on the remote to search guide and press OK. Here you have two options. An extended search will look at all the metadata in the program guide. This includes program titles, actors, and directors, etc. A quick search just looks through the program titles. We'll arrow down to quick search and press OK on the remote. You can see program titles containing the word NASCAR are now appearing on the right hand side. If you want to schedule a recording or a reminder for one of these programs, Use the right arrow key to navigate to the search results and then arrow up or down to choose the program. If you press OK on the remote, you will have the option to schedule a recording if you subscribe to PVR service or you can also set a reminder or an auto-tune. I'll go ahead and schedule this program to record by pressing OK on the remote to select Record Program. In addition to searching the guide, you can search recorded programs. To exit the search menu, press Exit on the remote. The Widgets Engine is a convenient tool to keep you up to date with news, sports, weather, and stock information. 
To access the widgets, press the Menu button on the remote and navigate to Widgets. Once selected, press OK. You can scroll among the widgets menu by using the arrow keys. Let's select News and then press OK on the remote. Brief news articles will now appear on the screen. To cycle through the various articles, use the right and left arrow keys. To access another widget subject, press the arrow down key. Let's take a look at sports. Arrow left or right and press OK to enter. Again, if you press the right or left arrow button, you can cycle among the various sports articles. Press the arrow down key to return to the widgets bar. Now let's navigate to stocks and press OK. Here you can enter the stock ticker symbol of any stock that you wish to keep an eye on. Use the left arrow key to highlight the entry field and then press OK. An input window will appear where you can enter the stock ticker symbol. Just arrow around and press OK on any letter or number that you wish to add. For this example, let's keep an eye on Netgear, a computer networking manufacturer. Their stock symbol is NTGR. Once this is entered, select Done. When finished entering the symbol, arrow over to Submit and press OK. You will soon see stock information for Netgear. You can enter multiple stock symbols to track your favorite stocks. To return to the widget menu, arrow down. If you arrow to the right, the last option we'll look at is Weather. Press OK to view weather information. Here you will see current conditions and forecast information for your community based on your zip code. Press the down arrow key to return to the widgets menu. To exit widgets, press exit on the remote.